My name is Krista from Hilltop in the Valley blog and YouTube channel. If we have not met before, uh, this is my channel that I like to share a lot of encouragement for nurturing the home and nourishing the family. Uh, any of these recipes that you see on this channel, unless I say otherwise, you can find on the blog and you can print them off there to have in front of you. Have you ever watched a skilled sourdough baker just plop their dough into a round tall Dutch oven and score the top and then cover it with a lid, let it bake into this perfect artesian masterpiece? Well, today I wanna to show you that you don't need fancy equipment such as a Dutch oven to make your own bread. Today I'm making a whole wheat same day sourdough bread using einkorn wheat. I have to tell you before I start that einkorn it's the original wheat, which means that it has never been hybridized and it also has a lot of protein in it. So this will be kind of a dense bread and it will not rise as much as typical modern day wheat anyways. So just keep that in mind. You can get the full recipe at hilltopinthevalley.com or follow the link in the information box below. Basically, it's a mix of about five cups flour I'm doing to one cup of sourdough and one cup of warm water. The high amount of sourdough starter in this recipe, along with rising the bread in a warmer area, is gonna help it rise a lot faster, which is why this is the same day bread. I'm mixing this dough with a knife today, and if you have special equipment, go ahead and use it, but a knife works just fine. After the dough has just come together, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes because I'm using an ancient grain. This ancient grain will absorb the moisture a lot slower than modern wheat. So that's why I let it sit and just everything will absorb together. After 15 minutes, I come back, use my dough scraper, which was a gift from a crafty husband, by the way, <laughs> to pull the dough onto a lightly floured surface. Okay, so we don't wanna bring in a lot of flour to the recipe, which will be easy with whole wheat einkorn if I were to handle it a lot. So this flour just tends to take in the flour and then get sit sticky. I fold this in half or thirds about six times and then I roll it into a ball, getting my fingers wet whenever it starts to get sticky. Then I put the dough ball into a floured bowl to rise and here's the important part, I put it right near our pellet stove. So for a quicker rise, I put this one at a place that will be close to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit for about three to four hours. Um, so think of that warm, warm spot in your house. A wood stove is great for this if you have a wood stove. There are certain um, machines or things in the house that can cause areas just to be extra warm. And that's what I'm talking about here. My goal in the rise is to not let it overproof or uh, rise too much. It's better to have it just under the peak of its rise. But remember, I'm using whole wheat einkorn, which will not give me much of a rise anyway. I bring my risen dough to the kitchen and turn it out onto a lightly floured counter once again, folding it a few more times before putting it into my proofing basket. A small floured bowl will work great. It's fine for this as well. But I just happen to love my Banneton. If you want a new proofing basket, by the way, I got mine at Cooey Housewares and they have given Hilltop in the Valley viewers 15% off. If you use the link in the information box below or you can use the code Hilltop in the Valley at checkout. So when turning the oven on, I will put in a baking stone um, as well as an oven proof deep baking pot. You can use a, a stock pot is great for this. I'm just gonna end up using my Dutch oven just for demonstration sake, but you can also use a cookie sheet for this. The reason you want to use a baking stone if possible is because it is a great heat conductor. And when you're doing sourdough, heat is very important. And so we want this oven hot. These will heat up and be nice and hot then when we put the bread in. 
So there are two things that are very important when you're trying to make sourdough without a Dutch oven. First, you gotta know the Dutch oven, its purpose is to both hold in heat and to create steam. You have two phases in the baking process. The first phase is a steam phase. The Dutch oven holds in the steam and the steam is there to help create even more heat because steam will hold the heat better than just pure air. And you only have about 15, 20 minutes, at least when you're doing my sourdough bread with the einkorn flour, until the bread has completely risen and then the crust has kind of set and so it won't be able to rise anymore. And so you wanna get that as hot as possible and risen as much as possible during that phase. That is a very vital, crucial time to make it rise. The other aspect is the heat. And so you wanna make sure that your oven is hot enough without burning the bottom of your bread, of course, but you wanna make sure that it is hot enough as well and it is staying consistently hot. So when you're not using a Dutch oven, just remember we're trying to imitate these two things that a Dutch oven does. You're trying to create lots of heat and you're trying to create steam during that steam phase to help that rise. So there are other ways you can do this as well. You can put your bread into another deep uh, dish, such as a roasting pan, and then put like a baking stone on top. If you have a pizza baking stone, that works great too, because that's still going to be a great heat conductor. Other people use lava stones um, to help create steam in the oven. You can try and create extra steam by adding some uh, water, putting hot water into a dish and putting that in there. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you heat your oven, preheat your oven, excuse me, uh, long enough to make sure that the oven is hot throughout and that it has had plenty of time. And so that is why you wanna have your oven heating for 45 minutes to an hour before you put your bread in. Okay, here is an example of my easy beginner's einkorn bread recipe using all-purpose flour. I figured I should probably share this one too since the whole wheat is not going to have as much of a rise and you guys are going to want to see a little bit more of a rise. Einkorn itself, I do all of my bank baking with einkorn flour and einkorn itself is a pretty protein dense bread. But um, of course the all-purpose flour is gonna have some of the protein taken out, so it does rise a little bit better. And I wanted to just give you this example as well. Overall, if you want to learn other ways to uh, bake sourdough bread without a Dutch oven, you can also see the post that corresponds with this video. And I hope this has inspired you to, to mess around with your baking a little bit and try new things. Um, it's good to know, especially if you're not thrilled about lifting like heavy Dutch ovens, or if you are using your Dutch oven for other cooking on a certain day and you don't have it for your baking and then you suddenly don't know what to do, this is a great technique to, to know and to use. All right, it is time to eat our bread. I hope that you guys have some fun uh, messing around with this and finding other techniques maybe and not just this one to use in order to make your sourdough bread. I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comment box below and uh, let me know how your bread bakes if it is baking well using this technique. That would be great to hear that I get some other confirmation from people as well. So thanks for hanging out today and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.